If your TMP, temperature and pressure valve, is open and leaking, you need to know why before we replace it. The first thing you're gonna to want to do is to see if you have high water pressure. If you have high water pressure, you're gonna to want to change your pressure reducing valve. And don't get that confused with your temperature and pressure valve. There is also a possibility that you could have a thermal expansion problem. Hey, we've got a problem here. We're gonna have a little video that explains thermal expansion a little bit more in depth. If you are having a thermal expansion problem, a lot of times the temperature and pressure drain that drains outside, you'll notice moisture out there by the drain intermittently. That is a sign of thermal expansion problems. Sometimes sediment may get up inside of your temperature and pressure valve. And you can take this little metal lever here and um, open it up and shut it back a couple of times. So if it's actually leaking outside, this may solve your problem. However, um, it may not. You're gonna wanna try that little trick. If it's leaking, you wanna try that before you replace this. However, it could make it really leak a lot worse. Like if it's just a little bit of leaking, it could make it like a water hose outside. The manufacturer recommends that you open up this lever once a year. Um, and if you've started off doing that, that's all well and good. However, if you don't do this once a year, then, then you're going to sometimes create yourself a lot more problems. So I, I say sometimes if it's not broke, don't fix it, but that's completely up to you. Most people do not do this. If you've addressed the root of the problem, thermal expansion, high water pressure, temperature too hot, if it's one of those and it still is leaking, we're gonna leave a video on how to replace your temperature and pressure valve. But I always tell people, if you address the root of the problem, you got about a 50-50 chance of this shutting back down. I mentioned that the temperature could be one of the reasons that your temperature and pressure valve is popping open. That could be due to your uh, heating elements or your thermostat going bad on your water heater, or you have turned the temperature up way too high that that causes this to open, thus called temperature and pressure valve. Also, it could be a sign if your gas control is turned up too high or it's going bad. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, let us know it helped you. And we're also going to leave various videos that we talked about during this video uh, in the description below. The most important thing is, if your drain is leaking outside, do not put a cap on it. It basically turns your water heater into a bomb. So I repeat, do not tap the line off. You can have a bomb and a flood. And those two things are not good. Thermal outside where the drain is. And it stops for a couple of hours. Whoopsie! <laughs> this is what happens when things aren't tight. I mean, I don't know why I'm so tongue-tied today. <laughs>